morning folks welcome to my first daylight run of this first week of ultra training Saturday morning I'm going out for the 11k long run check what the water's looking like gone down a bit it's not so brown <laughs> so shouldn't be so soggy out there it's definitely gonna be frozen it's minus 4 Celsius this morning so I'm gonna head out on the trails um, can cope with those when there's actual daylight and uh, less likely to trip over as I would in the dark so yeah I'm gonna do an 11k loop out on the local trails and today's topic for discussion I'm gonna talk about what pacers I've been using on my ultra training so far and how that's likely to develop as the plan goes on so let's go Okay, so on the topic of pacing for this training, I'm in week one at the moment, and this week there's been three steady runs and one easy run on the plan. Today's 11k steady, so what I tend to do is just run at a pace that just feels natural and fairly easy. And over the first couple of steady runs this week, that's tended to average out at about six minutes ten per kilometer which is very similar to what Garmin has as my easy pace so when it comes to the easy runs I slow it down even further my heart rate alerts are always set so I know when I've gone into zone three. And when I'm on the easy run, I act on that, slow down, walk if I need to, for as long as it takes, just to get that back down into the middle of zone two, and then carry on. So my last easy run, or the only one so far in the plan, was a 7.07 pace, nice and gentle. So I do have the heart rate alert set all the time. And on the steady runs, I tend to just make a judgment call if I'm halfway up a hill and it's heading into the 170s on the heart rate then I'll back off for 30 seconds or a minute and then uh, after it's calmed down just carry on running again and just play it by ear using the alert just to give me a nudge when I need to think about it. So of course one of the main factors affecting my pace on these runs is the hilly nature of the route. I tend to go slower on the uphills, a bit quicker on the downs sometimes, uh, but overall it should balance out so that the effort is correct and the pace is just where it happens to land. So at the moment on the plan we're in the base phase. This covers the first four weeks of the plan. We've got three weeks gradually ramping up from a relatively low mileage at the start and then we have a recovery week for the fourth week before we move on to the next phase and as we move through the phases we'll be getting into hills and strength and also speed work so that's when we get workouts thrown in besides the usual steady and easy runs and I'll be running at a faster pace at set periods of time, uh, doing intervals, uh, hill repeats, that kind of thing. So at the moment the idea is to just ease into it, get myself gradually fitter whilst keeping myself healthy and making sure that I remember the most important session is always the next one and I need to get through this one intact without doing anything stupid, if I can manage that. Okay, so I'm just into the fourth kilometre of the run now. Just hitting the first flat section of the route. It's been uphill most of the way up until now. So 
so the pace has been pretty slow uh, 6 30 and above i think but now i get to do a flat bit a little bit of downhill before the next big climb so what i need to keep in mind throughout this training plan is that the performance of each individual running session is not going to be the deciding factor on how i turn up on race day the main factor will be the consistency and whether i've managed to get all the work in and keep myself healthy along the way so tomorrow's a rest day on sunday i'll be taking it easy eating some good food doing some foam rolling and just making sure i'm feeling good ready for week two trying to ignore my pace as much as possible but the trouble is I've just caught myself my pace was heading closer to seven minutes than six my instinct was immediately to speed up so I managed to catch myself slow down again especially on these uphill bits just make sure my heart rate isn't drifting into zone four too often so I've mentioned consistency there and it's one of those things that's very easy to talk about. Everybody does it. Just need to be consistent, do all the runs on the plan, look after myself, don't go too fast. We'll turn up on race day, fly it, course record. <laughs> but though when you're out on an individual run, you're not always thinking about that. You're ignoring heart rate alerts, <laughs> thinking it's just a short hill. I'll just keep going at this pace. Next thing you know, you're into zone four, zone five. <laughs> and then it takes more to recover from that run. And the fatigue just builds up over time if you don't catch yourself. And remember to stick to your principles and what you know is the correct thing to do. So I do have to keep reminding myself, it's not automatic. Every run, you're just out there trying to enjoy it. And you might want to go a little bit faster or a pace that just feels right when in fact it might be a bit quicker than what you should be doing so constantly reminding myself when I remember that I need to follow the rules So one thing that's a useful reminder when you're struggling to stick to a easy effort, an easy pace, you might be consciously or subconsciously convincing yourself that your legs feel absolutely fine. Going a bit faster, they'll cope with it no problem. They'll recover in time for the next run. Probably do you good to go a bit faster. The thing that you need to keep in mind is that it's not just your legs that you're training also your heart and lungs your aerobic system generally and those components they have to recover from this effort as well so if you're pushing things into a higher heart rate zone than you should be you're jeopardizing the following run the following week's training and your recovery throughout the uh, duration of your training plan so just remind yourself that you don't want to overtrain your heart and lungs you need those things to be working properly, so look after them. There we have it then folks, 11 kilometers done. First week of training in the bag, still in one piece, which I'm taking as a win. 
so rest tomorrow and I'll have a look at what next week has got in store for me thanks for following along if you do want to subscribe to the channel it is free just press the button and watch the subscribe account go up by one thanks again guys see you soon